Would anyone like to come up for a story this morning? Hi, Catherine. Well, hi, Sierra. How are you doing? Hi. Yeah, it's good to see you. I was just late on the other days. You were late on the other days. You must have been really late. <laughs> hi, Simone. Well, I have a story to tell you this morning, and I have, um, I have sort of told this one before, but not really, because um, I changed a little bit of it. So I hope that's okay. But I was what you call inspired. You know what inspired means? What, what does it mean? Yeah, something that you want to do something, you suddenly get a, a, a different idea or, or imagine something different. So that's what happened. That's what happened with this one. So anyway, it begins where a lot of our stories begin. In the desert, in the dry land, in the holy land, in the place where Jesus lived and taught people about God. And this is another of the stories about Jesus. And... Um, when we meet him in this story, he's been doing this work, traveling around, traveling around the land, telling people about, uh, telling people about God. He's he's gone from one town to another town, um, covered all kinds of places, and everywhere he went, people got excited about what he had to say about God, and what would happen along the way is that. Sometimes people got so excited that they wanted to join him. They wanted to go with him and also tell people about God and learn more themselves. And they were called <coughs> disciples. And so, Jesus, over through time, started to get more and more of these followers that loved what he had to say, really liked him, and found a way to learn about God that was different than, oh, he lost a foot. Wow. Go on there. Oh, let's just put him down. He may be able to stand up. Like, there we go. Yeah, so, and, and that, those grew in, in numbers uh, by the day and by the month. Anyway, this, the day that I'm going to tell about, um, Jesus had gone a little bit ahead, and, um, and two of the disciples thought that Jesus was far enough away that he couldn't hear what they were saying. And they got into an argument, these two. And it was one of those arguments where they had their hands on their hips, and they were leaning in really close, and they were arguing. And it went something like this, and this is where I changed it, because I was inspired by another story I know. And so their argument went something like this. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. And the other one said, anything I can, you can be, I can be greater. I can be anything greater than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. And then they said, I can heal like Jesus, because he is my master. I can heal like Jesus, and I can heal even faster. I can live on bread and fish. Only on that, yes, so can a rat. Anything you can buy, I can buy cheaper. I can buy anything cheaper than you. Four denarii, three denarii, two denarii, one denarii. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Anything you can pray, I can pray softer. I can pray anything softer than you. No, you can't. 
Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can sing a ballad. I can make a salad. I can make a toga. I can do hot yoga. I can do most anything. Can you bake a pie? No. Neither can I. <laughs> but anything you can do, I can be greater. I can be anything greater than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. 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 And this got louder and louder. And finally, Jesus turned around and said, What is going on here? What are you arguing about? And they turned to Jesus and said, Um, nothing. <laughs> And Jesus said, that's not true. I heard you. You were arguing about who was better than the other, about who was greater than the other. And so he then said, come here, all of you, come around. I need to talk to you about this. And so they all came and stood there. And Jesus said, Whoever of you wants to be first, you have to be last. You have to be the servant of all. And they couldn't quite figure that out. And then Jesus noticed near the town, there was a little girl playing. And she was playing in the sand, and she was catching beetles. <clears throat> and she'd pick up the beetle, and she'd look at it really closely, and she'd laugh and giggle and she was so happy and so content she wasn't worried she was just enjoying the day enjoying the sunshine and having fun and so jesus went and took the little girl by the hand and brought her and placed her in the middle of the circle and he said whoever welcomes this child welcomes me for this child is greater than all of you I wonder why Jesus chose a little girl as the greatest. I wonder. <coughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't arguing, she was just having fun, enjoying life. I wonder how the child felt to be chosen as the greatest. I wonder how that would feel. Sierra? You know, look at these guys. They're leaning against each other. They're leaning against each other. Maybe they made up. <laughs> I wonder how all the others felt not to be chosen as the greatest. Yeah, we weren't arguing. Why didn't you choose us? <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah. They might have been arguing in their mind, that's right. I wonder who among all of us is the greatest. I wonder. The one who puts himself at the lowest. Well, that's our story. And uh, we're going to sing a song now, which is an old song, but I just really love it. And I, it's called Jesus Came a Child Like Me. Well, it's not a really old song. It's uh, one that we've come to know as an old song, even though it was written in the 1980s. So we're going to sing that, and then you can, uh, you can go to a children's church. I know that there's some really neat things that you're working on there.